Hello, I'm Jonathan Pershing, and I serve as the U.S. Special Envoy for Climate Change. The adoption of the Climate Agreement in Paris last year was a momentous achievement. Nearly 200 countries came together to act on one of the most serious problems facing our planet. The Paris Agreement established the first ever ambitious global climate change vision that applies to all countries, provides a solid foundation for climate action, galvanizes worldwide momentum towards tackling this shared challenge for the community. Just in the last month, we've seen tremendous progress in our ongoing efforts to address climate change internationally. The parties to the Montreal Protocol adopted an ambitious amendment to phase down hydrofluorocarbons, a class of highly potent greenhouse gases. The International Civil Aviation Organization adopted the first ever industry-wide market-based measure to set international aviation on a path towards sustainable carbon neutral growth. And right as international climate negotiators are heading to the 22nd meeting of the parties to the convention in Marrakesh for their annual talks, the Paris Agreement itself will officially enter into force. These achievements underscore the widespread recognition of the urgency of the problem and are testament to the continued determinations of nations, large, small, rich, and poor, to tackle climate change. The United States has worked tirelessly alongside the global community to make these achievements possible. And having secured these major milestones in the negotiation, now is the time for implementation and action. The upcoming meeting in Marrakesh will focus on the implementation of the Paris Agreement and ways to drive that ambitious action from everyone, from countries, from NGOs, from civil society, from the private se sector. They'll all come together to share, to push each other to do more. With the climate changing as rapidly as it is, the stakes are incredibly high and there's no opportunity to miss any chance for progress. Want to learn more about the actions the United States is taking on climate change? Be sure to tune in to all that's happening at the U.S. Center. Thanks, Dr. Pershing. I'm Ashley Allen with the U.S. Department of State, and this is my colleague Tom DeLiberto from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. We will be the Masters of Ceremonies for the U.S. Center, which is held at the U.N. Framework Convention on Climate Change 22nd Conference of the Parties, or COP22, being held in Marrakesh, Morocco, from November 7th through the 18th. The U.S. Center is the public outreach space dedicated to informing audiences around the world about the actions the United States is taking to fight climate change and its devastating impacts. More than 40 events, organized by the U.S. government, NGOs, businesses, and more, will take place there throughout the two weeks. So, as Dr. Pershing mentioned, since we last saw you in Paris, a lot has happened. We have a global agreement in place to act on climate. And not only that, it will enter into force, too. At this COP, many participating countries will focus on how they will implement their country's nationally determined contributions. In other words, climate action each country has decided to take. Since this COP will take place in Morocco, a big focus will be on sustainable agriculture and renewable energy, as well as climate work that is critical to the African continent. The themes Ashley is talking about will play a big part in the content of the U.S. Center this year, and we want you to get involved. All of our presentations at the U.S. Center will be live-streamed. You will have access to countless experts, policymakers, and leaders on climate change. Our events are open for Q&A using the hashtag AskUSCenter on Twitter. The schedule is available at state.gov slash U.S. Center. And make sure to follow us for updates on Twitter at at U.S. underscore Center. We're excited, and you should be too. We look forward to hearing from you live in Marrakesh, November 7th through the 18th.